So, good morning, everybody. They're doing uh, rock, paper, scissor. Who sits in the middle? Uh, Dan has to sit in the middle. We are on our way to New York. I'm actually doing a. <laughs> bought a storage room full of. I figure I would switch it up. Leather cows. So, we got Maz, we got Dan. And Hi, we got, everybody. We got a big ass rental truck. <laughs> well, it's 18 foot. It's big enough. Should have got the 26. Well. I would have fun driving that. But yeah, hopefully, back. hopefully we get to do two deals today instead of one because there's a, a brass horn that we have to go look at. <laughs> Poor Dan with size 13. Hey, at least your knee <laughs> has like a quarter inch uh, gap. But I don't know. It should be a lot of fun. I, my friend said there was 800 cow skins in this storage room. So it will be. I know that it involves an Egyptian. The Egyptian hopefully will come and give us all the money. Oh, that guy. No, it's a different one. Oh, no, I haven't met him. He, he owns a leather company in Egypt. <laughs> uh, but he he's supposedly going to come and buy all the equipment for what uh, got the room for. Okay. There's 12 leather sewing machines. I don't know. For me, this is like one of the bigger deals. I I don't know a lot about leather, so I sent, uh, I partnered with my uh, friend Gene, who owns that huge furniture store, and he does a lot of reupholstering. And so he went up he checked the quality of the leather. It all is uh, not moldy. It's not moldy. Not. I didn't know that if leather was sticky, you cannot use it because then it will rip when you stretch it. Right. So that's when it starts to lose its integrity. Is once it starts to get sticky. Decomposing. <laughs> Decomposing. Exactly. That's the word. But uh, <coughs> I'm gonna take probably a hundred or two hundred cow hides to Brimfield so that the bus will smell really nice yeah, right. <laughs> and then we're going to try to sell the rest to the Egyptian after he buys the equipment but today he's only allowed to buy the equipment not the leather. You've been there right? You already looked at it? I sent Gene. This okay. is my first time. I know. Maybe. So All right. I I'm saw just hoping for some like hand tools that I there like. Could, there <laughs> could be anything. I honestly don't know. It's a, it's a 10 by 25 storage room so it's one of the Honestly, like if you look up how how much and it, and it's all Italian and it had price tags of like six fifty, six twenty five a roll. Now was he able to walk towards the back or is it packed? Uh, they were able to walk to the back and count the machines. That's where okay. that's how they counted twelve leather, like sewing machines, stampers, and stuff like that. So I don't. I know a good leather sewing machine is in like the $2,500 range. So I'm gonna try to sell everything to the Egyptian for 15 to 12 grand. Um, but it's kind of like camel trading. Like with, you have to start real high and then they have to feel like they got a deal. So if we settle in the 12,000 12, or so range. But I have to pick a machine that I really wanna keep because otherwise he won't want it and offer me nothing for it. Does that make sense? Sure. So I know I know the one machine weighs about 4,000 pounds and my friend found it for 8,000 euros. Uh, so like they're, all the machines are very expensive. Did anyone close the back? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> Here, Naz, you want to go run and look? All right. Ah. Oh, it's closed. Just not locked.
I'll take that as a no. It closed, but wasn't locked. Ah. I guess it closed itself. But Naz was the one who uh, <laughs> loaded it, so he should have been the one who closed it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, technically. Technically, but that's not how it worked. Um, all right, so we're up on our way to New York. We'll, uh, next time you see us, we'll be opening the door. Ah, so we finally made it here. Eric, you want some blankets for your truck, right? <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to see what... Come on, bro. You want to be here all fucking day? I We're know. going to be here all day. Wait, buddy. Nah, no, it's... Now let me get the box. Remember. You know, I have a cup of gas. I'm going to be here for about one hour. Where's all the leather at? All the way in the back? Oh, man, it's... It's hard to see anything. Pretty cool. Pretty hey, Dave, that's the, uh, the rivet machine yep. that I told you about. All right. All right. So far, this is what we have in leather. There's a lot of... You wouldn't think there's... I don't know if you guys can see this. See how we got all the blacks and everything else. The black leather, the light leather. That is a ton. How many rolls do you think, Dan? What's your guess? Five. Five hundred? It's kind of hard to guess. You got, look at how thick that piece is right there. But, I don't know. It, I think it has the potential of being worth a lot of money. And then there's all this weird machinery. I don't know what to do with this. But, we'll see. I'm going to put it on time lapse. Man, there's it keeps on going all the way down. This, there's probably another 300, 400 just in there. And this is all comp compressed. You really gotta kill yourself. There's like 10 of these here. It looks more sensitive. Mike, you give everybody no. crap. Dude, I said, don't give us a yeah, fucking good. truck that's muffler ain't been changed in a hundred years. Well, he gave that to me. No, he gave no, it to me. I ain't got time. I ain't got time to get the fucking truck. Uh, uh, yeah. That one that's printed is pretty fun. Like yep. a comic book. Yeah. All right. Naz needs one of these. I might have to buy this for him for his art, but... Oh, that's we'll good see. For we want to start the other I bought the little carts, there's th three of those, and we got the le all leather there, and uh, we filled jeans all the way up with leather, but what we're going to do with uh, my truck, we're going to stop and go buy a bunch of 
lighting. Um, this is, we're trying to get a hold of the guy who we thought we could sell all this to, but he's, he's not picking up, so I think we're out of here. Some of these machines weigh a ton. This has to be three, four thousand pounds. So, could I use a new door now? I think so. Oh, it can't be that heavy. Oh, you. All right, wait, wait. Dan screwed up. Look what he Dan did. Dan was screwing around. He's like, oh, I can't even move it. It's almost off of the jack. That would be, uh, that would have came back and, and oh, rocked yeah, your would, world. That would have crushed me. That would, at least it would have made my YouTube thing, but that. Hell that. no, I would have been dead. <laughs> I would have saved you, man. I, I would have I saved you. Leg or something. So what do we do now, Dan, that you screwed that up? Push it back on, that's all. Yeah. Right, push it back. Good luck. This fucking dude's strong, man. No, I, I think you need the pallet jack. Pick it up. That's basically. And Naz makes art, so that's what Naz was looking for. Okay, you guys come across these things. Pick them up. Okay. What is it? They usually get thrown out, like rivets and little metal pieces like that. Oh. What is? Fish. Really? Yeah. Hey Naz, here's a mouth guard for you. Yep. The nose. Eagle. More rivets. Do you find any rivets for you? I don't really use them. Oh, these are stencils for whatever they were making. I think we're out of here. We're having stencils for belts and stuff. Dude. Thank you, Naz. You had fun. Yeah. Dan, are you okay? All right, everybody. We'll see you later. Peace. All right, we're gonna fix this. I doubt it will work. Hey, get, what's that? Do you get your buddy standing over there? He's strong. Get him over here. Dan! This is a big lemon, if you ask me. Want the flag ball? Right, okay. Want the flag ball? Did you got the flags? Oh, there you go, Dan. See? How the fuck do you move no, this with your foot? Jeez. Nice. Got the flag. Ready? Oh, the American. Yeah. Oh, okay. One. No, no, two. no, no, no. It's not going to happen. The, the jack has moved when you did that. The only thing it did was uh, it slid that a quarter inch. So well, we got to put it back. It might fall on somebody. Well, I know, but we need something to lift it with. Do we have a bar, a metal bar? A piece of wood. That's actually a good idea. Piece of wood to keep it in case it does slip. There you go. Or you can push that thing. Now we put the piece of wood down. And then, over. no, we just need I'm a here. jack. We need some type of jack, or when you take that off the I'm jack. Ready Does that to make leave. sense? You were supposed to call me at 11 o'clock. You think we can tell this? It's that heavy. It's that heavy. Oh, yeah, you, you, stop, stop, stop. You're going to hit it off. Yeah, I told you to call me at 11 and then come over. But we need. We need a. That won't come off of that. We need a pallet jack or something. We'll have to use that one. But that doesn't come off no. of... What time am I going to be at my shop? Right Unless we use those two boards, maybe. Let's get this stuff back and it's here. in the storage unit. And it's not going to work. That need come. It's not enough elbow room for... What about what? Well, that's not going to happen today. i got to get it unloaded and get the trucks back. All right. That has to be another day. It sounds like the guy from the machinery is blowing us off. All right. Can I take what? We'll take some photos for him. Right, see what happens. Take pictures of the machine and send them to him. All right. But okay, we'll do that. I'm gonna push it back a little more, so it's easier to get the second one in. Uh, it's already. It can't get two forks in there for, on the pallet jack. That's the problem. Yeah.
So, but we got it. We yeah, fixed. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't really want it. The only thing, if you want, you can pick it up on this side, and I'll put that that over. But it definitely might smush me. Make it exciting. You think it's fine now, Dan? Yeah. Dan says it's fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't really want to climb around with this one. Right. Didn't. You, guys, you want to put another wedge under this corner? I think. Nah. So, it is right here. Yeah. See it? Oh, all right. I guess it's okay then. All right, we're gonna go try to put in this other machine. All right. I had to turn it back on for this. We're gonna need five or six of us to. You wanna put that inside first? Get rid of the file cabinet that where the leather was. All right. I'll turn you back yeah. on. I know I keep on saying goodbye. All right. I think. I think we might get it now. No, that, that would definitely get it. One hour later. <laughs> Will you guys push? Watch push it from the top because it's light. We've got a right here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. We got to go back. We didn't have a good running start. Yeah, you don't want it to be too crazy. All right, right there. Ready? Stop. Let's push you. I'm going to go on the other side. I'm telling you, push here. Put your hands here. Okay, you know what? Maybe put the board down again, and then chuck the wheel on top of the board, the back wheel. Oh, yeah. You want to do that again? Maybe. Why is it not safe? All right, wait, bring it all the way back up to the wood again. Actually, that would be better. Bring, yeah, bring, yeah, no, put, push bring it all the way up. Bring it up, keep going. Keep, keep going. Keep going, push. I am push. push. Oh, oh, yeah, push. All right, put the wood on. Yes, uh, I won't be in today. All right, put it down. Put it down easy, though, because I don't have the time to kill. So we did finish the leather. Honestly, 
there was a lot, don't you think, Naz? Yeah, there was a ton. But I spent, so this was the numbers. I spent 6,000 on the leather. I split it with my friend. We figured we had, in each roll, there was anywhere between three and six cow hides in each roll. We figured there was about four to 500 rolls. So you can do the math. And each, each cow hide has to be worth, uh, I would say 20 bucks at the minimum. Probably more. Yeah, but let's just say 20. Oh, okay. 20 yeah. times three times five, 500 is, uh, it's like $30,000. Yeah, and I'd say double that. Well, no, but you know, that's, One cow that's, hide's that's, that's, that's conservative. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. for buying stuff out of a storage room, my friend bought the whole room for like two grand. I gave him six. I'll get 30. It's my best deal of, of the year. So nice. I, I'm pretty excited about it. Now we just have to figure out what to do with the leather. <laughs> I'm going to take some to Brimfield, but Naz a long time ago used to make uh, those masks and uh, we might do that. Yes. Seven years ago. <laughs> All right. I will, uh, I'll see everybody later. That was basically what, what ended up. It was a pain, it was a bear loading that machine because it kept on sliding off the, off of the pallet jack. But I don't know, Naz had it all figured out in the beginning, just nobody wanted to listen to him. Yeah, no so. one likes Naz. But Naz is sorry. No, 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 Naz is stupid. He's an idiot. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching. Everybody, see you later. Um, we also, this is my first announcement, we are going to have a 100th episode drinking episode where our, any of you guys are welcome to come. It's going to be at the Chesterfield Inn in uh, Chesterfield, New Jersey on a, on a Sunday. I'll, I will leave the date on all the future videos um, and I'll buy every, any of our, uh, any of the subscribers a, a beer if you show up. Hey, free beer, come on. Come on, it'll be a good party. Well, or a good, good drink. <laughs> we should do it on happy hour, too. Well, no, it's Sunday. Nick will uh, be there, hopefully. Right. But There's always Nick there. All right. Well, again, everybody's welcome to come to the Chesterfield. We'll, I promise I'll leave you the date in, uh, I think this is only episode 80, so I got 20 more episodes. So it'll be 20 more days from whenever this comes out. It's pretty easy. Oh man, it's a, it's a meetup. Come it's, meet Dave. I'll probably be there. No, it's a Naz will be there. Oh, you are no. <laughs> what? I was just gonna. Oh. <laughs> All right. I'll see everybody <laughs> later. We'll stop being gay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't. Yeah, it's just quiet. We abused him. Watch out for the quiet. Oh, Morgan. <laughs> oh, it's just mad. Peace. Oh, you're still rolling.